So around the internet I've seen these health potion dice rollers and I've always thought it was a really cool idea but I personally don't like how a lot of these look, mainly because of how the dice sits on top of the resin. So I thought that today I'd have a crack at my own version that sets out to change this. So to start off with you're going to need to pick your bottle. This is important as it'll decide a few of the next steps. I went with this one that I've been meaning to make it to a potion for a few years and just never got around to it. Whatever bottle you choose is really just down to personal preference, but a wide neck is a good idea. Once you have your bottle, measure the inner diameter of the neck. This is important as it's the maximum size that we can make our dice. And now onto the dice. Regular D4s wouldn't work because they A, don't float, and B, the numbers being on the tips wouldn't work for this dice roller. So I made my own dice. I modelled a simple rectangle and put some simple markings on the side to represent the different numbers. I will be 3D printing mine, but you could make the same thing out of blocks of wood. Just make sure that the rectangle is quite long. I printed my dice and moved on to the next step, making a spacer. This may not be needed for all bottles, but because of the long neck of my bottle, I didn't want the dice floating up and getting stuck. So I designed a dual purpose stopper slash spacer to keep the dice out of the neck. This looks bad now, but I'm going to be coating this all in wax later, so you shouldn't be able to see much of it. If you're using a smaller bottle, a cork should be just fine, or if you don't have a printer, a cork with a dowel glued into it could also do the job. Next up, I'm making the label. This again is a creative thing, it's up to you what you do, but because I'm terrible at drawing, I'm just going to make something simple. After that, we are pretty much ready to start assembly. To begin with, I'm going to tie a clove hitch around the neck of the bottle, then make a loop with the label on it and putting the bottle on its side, start wrapping. I'm going to do this maybe 10 times before moving the string down to the back of the wrap, around once and then halfway around the next wrap, bring it back up and repeat this to get this cross shape. Then while down the bottom, I'm going to tie the string off and move on. Next I'm going to make the red liquid to go in the bottle, I'm just mixing some red food dye with water. Again it's personal preference how dark you want it, but I want a pretty dark potion so I'm going to keep adding dye and mixing until I'm left with something I'm happy with. And now it's time to start filling the bottle. I'm just going to fill maybe a quarter of the bottle, then drop in the dice. I'm then going to continue to fill the bottle, and when it's almost full, I'm going to start putting the stopper in to check that it's not overflowing. And when it's just about completely full, I'm going to stop. Now to glue the stopper in place, I forgot to film this, but I um, put a ring of glue around, then glued it to the bottle, and then just covered the whole top of it with glue just to make sure there's nothing in and now finally, I'm going to wax over the top. This is letter sealing wax, it's quite cheap on eBay. Candle wax would probably work, but sealing wax is much stronger, less brittle, and has a nicer shine to it. I kind of screwed this up, I think to achieve better results, a larger container with more wax would have worked a lot better. I'm not super happy with it, but it's okay, it does the job. And here's how it turned out. I'm pretty happy with it, really like how it looks, and it works pretty well. You need to shake it quite a bit, I find, but it definitely gets the job done. 